Hey guys, and welcome back to another round of War Robots with Stupendous. So, I, I totally forgot to hit the record button, so we just hit it right there, right before we started. So, anyways, uh, I put the I put the Gareth back in, um, so that if occasion permits, we can work on the uh, the Camelot challenge. So that wasn't something I intended to be like a like every day for like a week or something like that, because I think that would get boring for me and it would get boring for you guys. So. Um, for those of you who are around for that, uh, yeah. Oh, I just I just noticed that guy over there. So that guy, India, he's from the clan, India, and I just played with a bunch of those guys the other day. It was a lot of fun. So let's go see if we can shoot him in the face. Like, hey, I love your face. I'm just going to, you know, shoot it. I'm dumb. I should stop talking. Actually, no, that's why you guys came to watch the video, so I'll keep talking. So <laughs> it's kind of funny, like, if... <laughs> Maybe I should get a recording, like, <laughs> like a, a making of the video by Stupendous kind of thing. Um, and, like, have my wife, like, record me, like, while I'm doing this in the totally empty room by myself, just talking to myself. But talking to you guys, but from the past for me, you know, kind of thing. But it, for you, it was like I was speaking, you know, like, future, I don't know, it's confusing. Anyway, I should shut up and uh, keep shooting these guys. So right now I'm using uh, I'm using this Gareth. Um, one reason I like using Gareth on this map to begin with. Um, something else you guys asked for is that I talk about why I choose what bot when. Um, so I chose the Gareth at the beginning here um, because uh, this week since this update has dropped, it seems like I've been getting matched um, with people that I should be getting matched against more. So I figured probably most of the guys would be running heavy bots, and every single one of them was. I think it was two Rhinos, two Griffs, and a Lancelot um, on my team anyway. So. I jumped into the Gareth so that I could grab beacons faster, and then so that I could come up here and do exactly what I'm doing right now. I was hoping there wasn't going to be anyone on the bridge, so I'm just keeping an eye on that guy from India because he's in a fury with Trident, so um, I'll just kind of switch back and forth between him and this target and just make sure I'm checking ranges, make sure I'm not within that. I have no idea this guy was here. <laughs> yeah, just make sure I'm not like in that 600 meter range kind of thing. So just kind of putting pressure on these guys and stuff. Um, just. I mean, obviously, like, I'm not, like, a huge damage threat or anything. Dude, I didn't even see those Tolumbus hit me. There must have been some lagger, or, or not Tolumbus, uh, Trident hit me. But yeah, so this guy right here, he's a lot of fun to play with the other day. We played a, f a few rounds together. So, dropping into my, my Patton here. So, you guys know I've been rolling with aphids for, for this week. Um, just because it's been a lot of fun, and I'm, these are the things that I'm upgrading right now. Um, next thing on the list to upgrade is probably going to be um, Molots for a... Uh, for a griffin. Um, that way I have something to, to counter um, things like those furies and stuff because you can fire outside of their range. I mean, it's not the effective range of the mullets, but you can still uh, you can still place oppression on those guys, even if you're not, like, able to, like, kill them or something like that, even in a couple of clips. Like, no one likes standing in bullet spray, so they'll move out of the way. Um, so that's something that's really nice about it. Like, even if you're not doing damage, like, strategically, you can still be suppressing. Oh, watch this. This is going to be awesome. Watch this. <laughs> oh, I love aphids, you guys. It's been so much fun having four of them. So I've been thinking about getting a Jeopard and, uh, and playing around with three aphids on that. I've done that on the test server before, and it was a lot of fun. Um, but anyways, so I, I ran up here so that, see that guy, he's shooting at me and he doesn't have an angle to hit me with those tridents. Um, I was waiting for him to shoot so that I could move this way a little bit more. Um, and yeah, so that's the reason I came up here. I was hoping to work over towards him a little bit. I didn't realize this guy was so close. Better shoot him a little bit. I didn't do as much damage as I hoped. I probably should have, uh, oh man, I should move, see if I can get away from that. Those, uh, those Zeus anyway. <laughs> see if I can change the angle here. And I'm dead. <laughs> that was a bad call. <laughs> I, I, I probably should have stayed back where they didn't have the angle on me, you know, uh, like back where I was and stuff, and just guarded center and stuff. I was hoping to get a piece of the fury with the with the aphids, but I guess in my excitement, like a little puppy, I just had to go for it, man. I just had to go for it, not go for it, but go for it. Like not a gopher, I mean. I don't know what my problem is today. I'm saying a lot of really dumb stuff. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so for, for me, like, I'm, I'm playing right before work right now. Um, sorry, the, the last couple of days I haven't been able to, to upload anything. Like, I've, like, time just got away from me. Like, I'm, I'm on the board of directors for, um, for a playhouse as well. 
um, like that does like musicals and shows and stuff like that. I'm the marketing director for the Playhouse. Um, and that's just like a volunteer position, but right now we have a show running and no one else has been able to take tickets. So I've been taking tickets every Monday, Friday, and Saturday. And so I got out of work and I came home and cooked dinner for my family really quick. Um, and then I went like straight to the Playhouse. And then, yeah, yesterday, um, yesterday I, I have, so I'm also uh, the president of, of, of the youth group at my church. And so, like, I, I plan activities for, for, like, the guys and stuff like that. And so I got home from work and I went straight to that. So, anyway, so right here I'm, I'm trying not, I was, I was holding my fire there because otherwise I'd just be shooting the butts of my teammates. And we, we don't shoot butts, you know. So, and I was hanging over here on the right side of the bridge because you see that Fury Trident's over there. Um, he's kind of peeking over and trying to get a piece of us. And then India over there is still in an untouched Fury. So, I want to see if we can tease... He's maybe uh, a couple tridents out of him. See if we can get him to shoot. If we can get him to shoot, then we can progress forward. Or maybe he'll shoot at my teammate here. Let's let's wait and see what happens. If he shoots at my teammate, then I'll move forward and help my teammate uh, to finish off the beacon. Oh, it looks like my teammate wasn't able to stay in the radius quite long enough, but he ended up shooting, so I will move forward here. And then uh, those hydras kind of look cool flying by me right there. <laughs> let's see if we can get this guy a little bit before I get taken out. Well, I think we were able to do okay damage. I'm not sure exactly what that ended up amounting to since there's that delay in damage uh, calculation for rockets, but let's jump into Galahad and see what we can do. So it looks like we've mech'd out one of their players, which is really good. Um, and I think we'll, I think we might be able to take this game because a lot of a lot of their team has been running support bots for like a long time. So I think we'll be able to... I think we might be able to help make the push into center here. That guy just dropped down, which is fortuitous. It's good for us, so... Um, all right, well, let's see if we can help this landslot grab this guy that's coming up the ramp here. It looks like it's another landslot. Me firing into the side of him, but, um, he's pretty vulnerable right there, so we should all be able to, yeah, I was going to say we should all be able to take him out pretty quick. Let's see if we can grab this guy. I'm just going to try to keep some of this cover between me and uh, those Fury, Fury Tridents. Um, so, yeah, this guy's coming up the ramp too, so I think we'll keep playing that way. That Fury just fired, so we've got a second anyway. But I'm going to keep this cover right here to my right between me and him. So that even if he tries to shoot at me, he won't be able to hit me. Like, maybe he can get, like, one trident by that, but the majority of the tridents won't be able to. Oh, I thought that guy right there was uh, up on the up on the center there. All right, so it looks like he got maybe, like, a rocket into us. And luckily that, uh, that boa wasn't able to turn that beacon. So I'm going to come over here so this guy doesn't have an uh, easy angle on me. And see if we can uh, move this way and get behind these um, these little barricades right there. Just checking on that guy, seeing what he's doing. Um, and I'm not sure what this is right here. Oh, it looks like a boa. And he's he's just about in range. So let's see if we can take him out. And we'll just keep, pay attention to India there. And make sure that we're keeping the cover between me and him. So that he's only doing, uh, you know, negligible damage to us. So let's see if we can just keep kind of playing with this. I'm just trying to keep my target on him, but... Also, keep an eye on India there to make sure that the cover is between he and I. <laughs> so, hopefully he comes back up the ramp here. See, I, I just took some more damage there, and I didn't see anything, like, visually. So, I've um, been, getting, been getting a little bit of lag today. This is, I think, my, my second or third game this morning. So, I haven't been able to play much. I, I feel bad. I don't know. Yeah, uh, anyway. So, let's see if we can finish this guy off here. And then uh, that Fury's in range too, so if he fires, um, maybe I'll be able to get an angle on him. So I'm just going to get over here behind cover again and uh, reload my Turan. Alright, and he's getting shot there too, so it looks like he didn't he wasn't able to get an angle on me, but uh, he's, in, he's in the open now, which is good for us. So I think I should be able to take him out before he can fire. Okay, there we go, and we got some support from my teammate there uh, with the Zeus, whoever that was over there. <laughs> So, yeah, it looks like India's the last one there. So he did a good job with that Fury Trident. So he really was able to deal a lot of damage. Um, I think uh, I think maybe the best thing that he, he could have done is, is maybe ditch that a little bit sooner um, to help make the push into center a little bit easier. Like with those with his teammates like pushing in there and stuff like that, like if they had one more guy, uh, they could have taken that beacon. But that's a hard call to make like in the middle of the battle. So I went ahead and grabbed that beacon just in case because uh, I think I already have three. So I think that should put me at four. Um, and I think that'll probably get me the gold bonus. So uh, anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so much for coming and checking out the video. If you like it, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button to show your support for the channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more daily content. And as always, hope you guys have an amazing day.